All right, this is uh, strength test number two on the uh, push bar and brush guard design that I make. Uh, the first test was torquing the fasteners down to 80 foot-pounds and then attempting to lift the front end of the truck with the brush guard. So what ended up happening in that test is the push bar started to rotate inwards just here. All of this was rigid, but it rotated down there. So now I've got those torqued to 100 foot-pounds, which um, the manufacturing specification on the torque on these is 107 foot-pounds. So I'm going to do 100 and leave it th at that. Uh, total success to me would be you can lift the truck using the push bar. Um, secondary success to me would be that the fastener's torque rating is enough, is, is I'll say, uh, low enough that the whole thing rotates inward while the structural integrity of the push bar is good. Essentially, that'll mean if you hit something, um, the push bar will move and not be damaged and will protect your hood. Um, I think that would be a satisfactory thing. The failure would be if it, if it broke. <laughs> or if it even bent. So, okay. Gonna lift up on the forks. Testing at 100 foot pounds. And I can see the push bar is rotating now. So it has rotated a little bit inward. To start with, let me find my tape measure. It's about 10 and 5 eighths away from the truck. So it's tilted into the point that it's almost 10 inches away and then up here it's about nine and five eighths. So it is pushing inward, which I'm okay with as a failure mode. I'd rather have that thing absorb a little bit of weight. Now the interesting thing is it is damn near off the ground. Only a little tiny bit of that tire is contacting. I feel like I could go higher, but I don't want the forklift to roll and pierce the hood. We'll give it a little bit and see what happens. It didn't rotate at all after that. So now it's probably, these have slipped maximum amount. They're at the point now where then in order for it to move more, they would have to shear off and the truck is off the ground completely. Of course, not the back end. There's proof that there is nothing under this. The truck is completely off the ground on the front. That's how tough this is. So, you could get around that if you wanted to by increasing the diameter size of these bolts and torquing them higher. And that would do two things. One, that would prevent the slippage from the torquing itself, but then the larger diameter of the bolt would prevent it slipping much so that it would get to a shear position uh, faster. So overall, I think that's a hell of a test. Let's get the forklift out of here and see if it deformed at all. Sorry, I'm not watching the camera. I'm trying to make sure I'm not going to stab my truck with the forks. Because obviously it moves a little bit. All right, let me back up. Oh, good, it's raining. Awesome. And it's a little higher than it should be, but I see no deformations whatsoever. And that is a good demonstration of what I mean when I say that this is a the heaviest duty off-road oriented push bar design that I've ever seen for the Humvee or Hummer H1. Approach angle maintained. Um, it's in solid 
it's a solid design so you don't have any hinges for when you fold the hood out of the way um, unless of course you hit like a oh I don't know an ox or something and uh, bend that inward but that is I'm very happy with that